it's hard to stress uh, how much Orson Welles fits into my whole um, take on what cinema is or could be or should be or what uh, any kind of electronic, you know, storytelling, which could include text and video and all of that. The stuff that I was doing with uh, Night Kitchen and Voyager with Bob Stein back in the 2001s is still more interesting than the way most things are put together where everything's in its own ghetto. Speaking of ghettos, this is about the third man and uh, his relationship to the Wonder Wheel and his relationship, therefore, to walk a circle. Now, one of the things I forgot to talk about, uh, I had the graphic was my first uh, impression of uh, how to tell that story. But after that, it wasn't quite enough. I came up with this notion and it ties in quite a bit with Vonnegut, I didn't realize at the time because I hadn't read Vonnegut when I started writing this. Uh, this was, I started writing this before high school, I guess between high school, or between uh, either between, uh, maybe the second year of high school, I guess, maybe sophomore year of high school, something like that, in Paris. Anyway, so the image was of uh, pendulums, and I'm now reading Foucault's Pendulum, so it's something like that. So I thought that each person, you know, so this would be Phil, uh, I suppose the center, this would be Pat, his amigo, you know, it's also sort of like biblical, I guess. And Catherine, the girl, right? Uh, the useless chick, as they say, on Sunny in Philadelphia. Anyway, so the idea was that each person is suspended by a string and that these strings are in motion. And that occasionally, and what love is, is when two or three, let's say, of these things twist together, you know, like dog leashes, maybe. And, um, you know, and so suddenly you have this weirdly hung uh, mess, uh, what we call love, and that is, spins around and is a pendulum for a minute until perhaps it, uh, the momentum is dropped and it, uh, the twist is unwound like DNA unwinds and that love is over and then you go crashing into the next uh, you know, thing one crash into me yeah man